Creative Minds is for everyone. Creativity is a really powerful thing. It's a universal language. It's about soul food, it's about nurturing your spirits. It's taking a passion that people have and continuing to develop that. It builds people's self-esteem. It's people finding that they have abilities that they didn't know they had. It's giving people an opportunity to start to live life, to enjoy life and to develop their lives. Within us there lies inherent creative potential, whether it be through dance, whether it be through drawing, painting, whether it be through singing, whether it be through sport. We all have creativity within us and Creative Minds is about releasing that creative potential to support people's recovery. Creative Minds started as a strategy but quickly developed into a programme of work that was about creating opportunities for people to engage in creative activities that will hopefully improve their health and well-being. We use the word creative, but actually it's such a broad umbrella. It's deliberately not focused purely on arts and creative writing. It's to do with leisure. It's to do with physical activity. It's to do with people doing things that they want to do. The Live Arts Cafe is a really informal, relaxed social evening where people come along and they explore their own creativity. I was very socially isolated. I spent 90% of my time indoors. But now it's given me a sense of purpose and direction. I just love it and I look forward to it every week. I think it's great. It gives you a reason to want to go on. It's the reason I get out of bed in the morning. It's just great to see people start to shine and find that they've got a reason for living, really. The Creative Minds Project is unique as far as I know. We do work with other trusts and organisations across the country, and this is definitely leading the way in using arts and creativity as a way of, of benefiting their service users. Because Creative Minds was created by service users and carers, they came up with a broad range of different activities that they want to include in it, really. You know Name it, if people come up with an idea, we'll talk to our partners and we'll do it. We started coming indoor rock climbing and we saw that people had started to enjoy it, so we tried to think of how we could expand. I first started coming to the rock climbing group nearly two years ago now. It was just totally new to me. I really enjoy it. It gets me out and about and I feel more happier when I'm out and about. And <laughs> It's changed my whole lifestyle. It's given me a focus so that I can really get on with stuff. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Um, I really enjoy doing the climbing. I, the social aspect's brilliant. Traditionally, the way that we work with people is we're looking for problems. That's not all that helpful for people. What we want to be looking at is what are you good at? What are you strong at? That If we can find what people are good at and succeed at, that helps their self-esteem, it helps their self-confidence, and that's what helps them recover. Creativity clicks with people and it helps people because it doesn't necessarily make people feel that they are receiving a service or that they are receiving treatment. What it does is it taps in to what people are good at or maybe what they're not so good at but that they want to learn and develop without feeling that they're going to be assessed or that they're going to have to tell a nurse or, or a psychiatrist. It's something that's done at their pace uh, that interests them and that ultimately at the end of it they can come away with something and that might be a picture they've painted, it might be uh, learning an instrument, it might be having made a new friend because they've gone to a new social group. Coming to the choir makes such a difference for different people for very different reasons. We heard about it when Cora was on ward and we thought, oh, we'll go along to that, something we can go together. And we were singing in the car on the way back. I feel um, quite energised. It's letting you do the things that you want to do and get involved. Creativity is for all of us. It's a universal language. Consistently people were saying to me, we want more creative approaches. We think that engaging in something creative helps our health and well-being. If you listen to what people want, they're more likely to come towards you and, and get involved and, and want to develop it further. Creativity helps because we, we tend to use different parts of the brain to do different things. And bits of the brain are, are chundering over things and worrying just tend to get overactive. And there are other bits of the brain that maybe we don't nourish enough and Creative Minds stimulates those bits of the brains that maybe therapies don't often get to. When I first started, I didn't know how to do pottery, but 
I'm now quite good at it. I feel better when I've done any session because obviously your mental health can affect you when you're sat about bored, you can start thinking about stuff that upsets you and that. So it's good to keep busy to get them thoughts off your mind. Creative Minds is really, really innovative in that it allows and supports people to do things differently. It's non-judgmental and I think that's a really important thing because that's what gives people the hope and the esteem to carry on and it gives them the confidence to try different things as well. It's been particularly pleasing to see service users engaging in creative projects, perhaps in a way that they would have found much more difficult in our more traditional ways of working. Although it's scientifically very difficult to evaluate the impact of some of these projects, on a day-to-day -day basis you see people engaging in a way which is very positive and very recovery focused. Never in my life have I done art, just thought I'd give it a go. Came along, absolutely loved it. I think the main thing for me is the confidence that it's given me. I'm a totally different person to the one that walked through that door. I was a quivering, shivering wreck on 21 tablets a day, serious heavy medication and 20 months later I've been off medication for nine months and my children are amazed that one person can change in such a short space of time. They never thought it were possible and I didn't, but it is. What Creative Minds does is to create the partnerships within our local community that enhance our service offer going forward. So if the mission of our organisation is to enable people to realise their potential and to live well in their communities, Creative Minds supports just that. I describe Creative Minds now as, as a bit of a social movement and that social movement means it's accessible to everybody. People feel they can touch it influence it, get involved in it really, uh, and I, I think that's its, its biggest strength. We couldn't do what we do without that partnership working. Creative Minds fits very well with recovery because it's about helping people do different things. It's great to see people who have come a long way through harnessing their creativity and have therefore gone a long way down a recovery path. So when you hear service user stories of people perhaps who are finding things very difficult, who then give you a story of they've been part of a creative opportunity and it's turned their life around. It's fabulous to hear. I was going through a really rough time in my life. From where I was just over a year ago to now, I'm a totally different person. I'm so much stronger and it's made me want to do more. I can finally do something fantastic with my life. I believe that through any process of recovery or journey that somebody's going through with their health, creativity can enhance treatment because it's, it's about somebody taking ownership of their healing, of their recovery. The sustainability of Creative Minds is really important. If people develop a skill, develop a passion for something, then they're more likely to carry on doing that for the rest of their lives. And, and that can improve their health and well-being for the rest of their lives. One or two people have said to me, it has saved their life, it has given them something that nothing else in our organisation has given them. That is so powerful to me as a clinician to say, I want to refer other people into those projects. It's really helped this person, let's spread the message. I've learnt so many skills and it's just made so much difference to my life. This group has lifted my spirits. It's given me a bit more confidence and that I find a lot of joy in it. Well, it just makes me feel better in myself. Once I came here, I was hooked, I loved it. It's just changed my life completely. Having some involvement with an outside interest has helped immensely. It gives a real point to the week. It's an amazing sense of achievement. The creative sessions made me feel safe and secure and made me feel like people cared. I was worried that my depression was going to go down again. It's really, really made a massive impact on my life. It's given me something to live for. It's made a huge difference to my life because I'm not self-harming anymore. I'm not taking overdoses. I'm, I'm not trying to harm my son and it's just made me feel a lot happier.